How can I export the survey results from Lime Survey to SPSS? There are two ways to do this, which I would like to briefly introduce in this video. Hi, my name is Paul Bostoff. I am an authorized Lime Survey partner. I offer services around Lime Survey, such as survey creation, individual support, and also workshops. Okay, I have now carried out a small survey here as an example, have collected an answer and can now see how I can find the whole answer now and then export it to SPSS. To do this, I first go from the survey structure to the survey settings and then I scroll down a bit. In the survey menu there is the item answers. There I can see how many answers have been collected here. They are listed here and then I can go to this export button up here. If you click on these three small dots here, you will see three possibilities. Export responses, export responses to SPSS, and export VV survey file. To export them to SPSS, there is of course the first option to go to export responses to SPSS. I have already presented this in an earlier video. You have to export both a syntax file and a data file. That's a bit more cumbersome. The good thing now is that in this newer version of Lime Survey, you also have another option that is much easier. To do this, you click on export answers here and then the export format is set to CSV and you can change that to SPSS and then a SAV file is created directly here. So you don't have to take this detour via a syntax anymore. Then you can set two or three things here. Completion status, i.e. whether you want to have all the answers or maybe just the complete ones. The export language, the area, i.e. which cases are to be exported here. In that case, I only have one answer in it now, so it's from one to one here. Then you can tell here how the answers should be exported. Only answer codes, so depending on how you have encoded the answers. I always recommend using only numbers one, two, three or the complete answers. I'll go to the answer codes here and then there is a setting option here that only refers to multiple answer questions and you can set it here so that a Y, which means yes for the checkmark has been set, you can then recode it into the one and the N, i.e. the checkmark was not set, can be recoded into two. As I said, this is only relevant if you have multiple answering questions, where the respondents can put several ticks for one question and then it is coded in such a way that if a tick has been set, it is set to 1, if it has not been set, to 2. Then you can say here how the questions themselves should be exported. Just the question code, i.e. something like Q1, Q2 and so on, an abbreviated question text or the full question text. I'll leave the default setting here and with all these other things here you can also leave the default settings. In the vast majority of cases, this makes sense. And down here you can then say which columns, i.e. which variables should be exported. These are a few system generated variables and then the questions that I had in the questionnaire here. Well, as you can see, in principle you can leave the default settings largely unchanged. The important thing is just to select SPSS up here and then I can click on export here. So, as I said, the file is exported directly as an SAV file and let's take a look at them in SPSS. Well, SPSS opens, it takes a little moment. Okay, so now the file has opened in SPSS and we see the data view and the variable view here in SPSS. Let's take a look at what variables there are. First of all, you have ID, submit date, last page, start language, seed. These are all variables that were generated by the system, which you usually don't need. And then there are the variables that contain the questions I asked in the questionnaire. For me, these are the questions Q1 and Q2. Let's take a quick look at the data view. Maybe a little note about this submit date. Please don't be surprised that it says like 1. January 1980, 0 o'clock. It is simply because for all questions for which no timestamp was collected, i.e. where simply to maintain anonymity and to be as data efficient as possible, no timestamp or timestamp is required. Date stamp, this date will simply be 1. January 1980. So you can ignore that completely. Otherwise, the ID is just here, because this is the first person interviewed, then last page, i.e. to which page this person has reached here in the survey. For me, it was only one side, the language is German. Then there is a variable seed, which is only relevant if you want to use random numbers, i.e. random generators, in the survey. Then there is a starting number, so to speak, in order to be able to generate random numbers. So these are these variables that you have in there from the system and then my actual questions that I asked, Q1 and Q2. By the way, 
SPSS tries to recognize the measurement level of the variables independently, metric, ordinal, nominal. Of course, you can adjust that here. Here, for example, Q1 was the question of what after the favorite food and so it makes sense to select nominal as the measurement level here. Then we had the question, an open question, which type of pizza it is. So it's actually not necessary to have a measurement level here, because it's an open question. Then very briefly and finally to the question Q1. There I had asked the question what my favorite food was and there the whole thing was coded in such a way that it was one pizza, two pasta, three burgers and so on. And exactly these answer options are already here as value labels in the data set. You can see that here, if you go to values, to these three little dots, so you can see how it stores it here. So there is the value 1, labeled pizza, 2 pasta, 3 burgers. So these are exactly the things that I entered in Lime Survey. These were the codes for the answer options that I gave in Lime Survey, and these were just these names, i.e., the formulated answer options that I entered in Lime Survey. So they are already completely contained in SPSS in the data set. You no longer need to define them additionally. So much for the export of Lime Survey survey results to SPSS. If you need support in the creation of Lime Survey surveys or in the evaluation in SPSS, please feel free to contact me. My website is linked below.